Greetings, Seahawk family. Welcome to the fall 2020 virtual sashing ceremony, an event where we regularly recognize our graduating student athletes for reaching the finish line and earning their college degree. 2020 has been an extremely difficult year for all of us, but for one moment in time, we'll bring some smiles and joy as we recognize the banner accomplishment of our student athletes finishing their education while in school at UNCW. I'm Drew Scales, Associate Athletic Director at UNCW. I will now turn it over to UNCW's Athletic Director, Mr. Jimmy Bass, for a few comments. Hi, I'm Jimmy Bass, Director of Athletics at UNCW. I want to extend warmest congratulations to our eight student athletes from four sports here at UNCW uh, on their graduation. Uh, it's been a really, really tough year this past year. Uh, congratulate you for working hard in the classroom, working hard on your sports, and certainly staying healthy. I congratulate your families, your extended families, and I wish you all the very best of luck with your careers. And we want to make sure that you know that you're always welcome back home here at UNCW. Before we get any further into our program, it's very important that we acknowledge the parents and guardians of our graduating student athletes. The sacrifices that they've made to help their young people participate in sport and entrusting UNCW with their well being and safety to compete at a high level. We thank you and acknowledge you for your role in having your young people reach this point of a major accomplishment in their lives. Now, listeners, you will be treated to stories from our head coaches about the graduates and their experiences in their team's programs throughout their time as student athletes. Coaches, the floor is yours. Hi, I'm Randy Hood, head baseball coach at UNCW. I'd like to congratulate all the December graduates, them and their families, for what a great honor and achievement. I also would like to take the time to honor and, and recognize our three December graduates in our baseball program. Each of these three guys have completed the journey of what we talk about being a champion on and off the field uh, by getting their degree. Super happy for them and their families. All three of these guys have been part of uh, conference championship teams and also participants and uh, in the NCA regionals. Uh, they've experienced both sides of it from the field to the classroom. And again, just like tonight, take the time and, and recognize these three guys. The first guy I'd like to recognize is Ryan Hare from Hudson, North Carolina, uh, degree in recreation sports leadership. Uh, Ryan, your journey's taken you to three different institutions and I'm super proud of you finishing up and getting your degree. I certainly wish you and your family nothing but success and happiness in your future. And I really thank you for everything that you've given our program the last two years. Second individual I'd like to recognize is Zarian Sharp from Greenville, North Carolina, degree in sociology. Uh, with COVID closing our season back in March, uh, Zarian had a decision to make over the summer whether to stay in school or, or sign a professional contract and he chose to sign a professional contract with the Minnesota Twins and we're super proud of him and happy for his decision and support him um, with everything that we've got. Uh, Zarian, certainly proud and happy to follow you in your next step and, and, and your baseball career and hope you make it to the big leagues. You've been a great uh, person in our program. Um, you've been a great Seahawk, you've battled through adversity, and we certainly have always been there pushing for you, and it's been great to see your journey. Um, I also want to really appreciate and thankful for you uh, keeping your promise to your mom and your family for getting your degree. Uh, it's a big accomplishment, and we're super happy and proud for you and just looking forward to following your career. Thank you for all that you've given our program. The third individual I'd like to recognize is Luke Giselle. Luke's from High Point, North Carolina, got a degree in recreation sports leadership. Luke becomes the fourth Giselle sibling to get a degree from UNCW, two older brothers and a sister. It's such a great honor for him and his family. 
happy for all of you guys. You've been a huge part of our program the past four years, and I'm also super happy that you're coming back and playing one more year with us. Looking forward to seeing how well things go this year. You've been a great leader on and off the field. Uh, your leadership qualities, everybody that uh, from the coaching staff to the players, we see it each day, how much hard work you put in. So glad to have you back for one more year and looking forward to see how things go. Really want to wish everyone a happy, safe, and healthy holiday season and a Merry Christmas. And I'm looking forward to better things ahead and a great 2021. Go Hawks. Hi, I'm head coach Karen Barefoot, UNCW Women's Basketball. And the sashing ceremony is one of my favorite things about being a head coach. We get to brag about our seniors who are getting ready to graduate. And I can't wait to see Ayanna Vason graduate in December and what the legacy she's left here for our women's basketball program. This article says a lot. UNCW women earned milestone victory. We had, she led us to so many victories, but more importantly, she did it the teal collar way. She was five foot, getting and ones, diving on the floor, getting after it. I'm so proud of Ayana, Ayana and her teammates are, are proud of her also. One thing I'm really proud of, her academics. Her last year, she went out with a bang. 3.0, 2019 to 2020. She's gonna major in criminology and she's gonna go out there in the world and give that passion and energy out there that the world needs. Ayana, we love you. Good luck. Thank you. Two graduates this evening, Gabrielle Cabral, who will be graduating um, in an IMBA master's program of business administration. Uh, Gabrielle is from Petropolis, Brazil. Uh, joined us from Charleston, West Virginia, uh, where he won a national championship as a Division II player at Division II level and uh, immediately made an impact in our program by coming in here and uh, showing what an incredibly talented soccer player he is. And a phenomenal technique, uh, great vision and passing, and played with a real freedom that maybe we would expect from, from Brazilians, but wow, just an enjoyable um, attitude towards the game and would love to express himself and did some amazing things on a pitch and um, like I said what an impact he had in our program and uh, led our team in 2019 to a CAA regular season championship um, by going undefeated in the CAA which is is no mean feat so um, super happy for you Gabriel I know it was hard uh, trying to combine doing a master's program and performing at the Division One level, and you certainly did it with a, with a plum, and uh, you should be extremely proud of yourself and the impact that you, you had in your new home after, after Charleston, West Virginia. Um, big things lie, lie ahead for you, and, and uh, either on the soccer field or in, in life, and uh, very, very uh, ecstatic to have played some role and have had the opportunity to coach you here at UNCW. Drew Rabel came to us and is a redshirt junior. Um, Drew comes from Raleigh, North Carolina, and uh, came into our program and had to be very patient early on. He redshirted his freshman year. Um, but he's just embodies the spirit of, of what you look for in, in student athletes these days. Um, you know, he didn't hang his head. He always came to training and worked extremely hard. He was very coachable. He pushed and pushed and pushed the players ahead of him. He learned from the players ahead of him. And, uh, and I can tell you that, uh, you know, he ended up being Mr. Reliable for us. Uh, Drew was a defender and, and would play, start some games, come off the bench some games. And we always knew that Drew would never, ever let us down. And, and he just has grown as a, as a young man, uh, academically just incredible um, a business administration degree with a concentration in leadership and management. Uh, management and leadership, excuse me, with a 3.967 GPA, just an amazing student. Um, and just, like I said, somebody that embodies the spirit of, and, and what you look for. Um, that being said, he's elevated himself and this past fall would have been a captain if we got on the field, was a captain off the field, of course. And excited to say that he's decided now he's got his undergrad from UNCW, who's gonna remain here and take his master's degree. Uh, and captain us on the field in, in the upcoming spring and fall of 2021. So um, 
tremendously proud of you guys. Great work on and off the field. And uh, I can say these are the types of memories that live long in, in, in coaches' and players' minds. And um, I know I can say for the rest of our staff and the rest of our program that uh, we're, we're going to miss you, Gabba. And Drew, we're excited to have you back. And uh, go Seahawks. What's up, Seahawks? I'm Chris Neal, head women's soccer coach, and it is my pleasure to honor two Seahawk legends and our 2020 December graduates, Bailey Edwards and Sydney Schneider. I'll start with Bailey. Bailey's journey is special to me. I was lucky enough to be there as a club director over at the Port City Soccer Club back in, I want to say, 2002 when Bailey was just four years old and she was beginning to play soccer. And even from those early days, she just had this way about herself on the field. You could tell how into sports and how competitive she was. And she played with a true love and passion for sports. And you just had a feeling she was gonna turn out to be special and she certainly did. Her senior year in 2019, she was named first team all CAA as a defender. She was also named All-Region, which is one step just below All-American. She was a starter for all four years, and she accomplished something that I don't believe any other Seahawk has ever accomplished in a women's soccer jersey. She played forward, she played midfield, she played defender, and she even got a brief spell as a goalkeeper in 2018. So she literally played in all lines of play, and she did whatever the team needed at any given moment. Um, and that was a really special accolade for her as well. Cindy Schneider put this program on the world soccer map and put herself in the spotlight as well by participating in the 2019 FIFA Senior Women's World Cup. Cindy has Jamaican heritage, and she was the starting goalkeeper for Jamaica's women versus Brazil and versus Italy in that World Cup. She played in front of 17,000 plus people in France, and she was one of the young stars of the tournament. Um, she, if you are not familiar or you haven't watched it yet, just Google Jamaica versus Brazil in the 2019 Women's World Cup and click on the highlights and you'll see one of the reasons why Sydney is so special as a player. But in addition to that experience, she also made first team all conference her senior year in 2019, and she was named CAA Goalkeeper of the Year. She had a .77 goals per game against average that year. She led us to six shutouts out of nine Colonial Athletic Association matches, which set a program record for consecutive shutout minutes. Just a phenomenal player uh, with tremendous accolades, and both Bailey and Sydney are simply irreplaceable. Um, as people, when they weren't competing, they were tremendous young women. Both their teammates and their coaches unanimously voted them both team captain. And they both led in different ways, but by example. And they had unique ways of pulling out the best in everyone around them. Bailey, Sydney, I said it before and I'll say it again. You're simply irreplaceable. You're going to be tremendously missed. But at the same time, we thank you for everything you've done for our programs, for us as people. And we can't wait to see what greatness you bring to this world with your life and in your careers. So again, thank you. And a hawk yeah from all of Seahawk Nation for everything you've accomplished in New Jersey and what you're going to accomplish in the future. Take care. In closing, graduates, as you venture into life after graduation, be prepared for challenges. When those challenges occur, reflect on your time as a student athlete at UNCW. These moments when you reflect will help you overcome challenges that are going to come your way so you can achieve and prevail despite any circumstances that may be difficult. I encourage you to be a lifelong learner. Have the self-awareness to know where you're limited and correct those errors and make them better. Continue to grow. Make a difference in your community. Pay it forward. Utilize your knowledge and your privilege of having a college degree to help benefit your society. When it's safe, come back to campus. We love to see your faces and hear about life developments that may have happened since you graduated. Be a model Seahawk in everything that you do. 
get those wings up, soar proudly. Congratulations.